This is your homework helper, Mrs. Anderson. Today I will help you with lesson nine, multiply by one digit numbers. Please have your homework page ready and let's begin. This homework helper explains the concept that we're doing today. So here I have the world's largest cactus is five times as tall as the cactus shown. How tall is the world's largest cactus? I need to look to see how tall this cactus is. It's 15 feet tall. And the world's largest cactus is five times as tall as this one. So I'm going to times it by five or multiply it by five. When I multiply, I start in the ones column. I'm gonna go five times five is 25. 25 has two digits. So I'll leave the five because the five is in the ones column. And then I'll carry the two to the tens column. Five times one is five plus two more is seven. And I write the seven in the tens column. Okay, so we multiply the ones first, and then we multiply the tens. And then we can check by estimating. We can also check by doing uh, an area model. But on these ones down here, we're gonna check by estimating. So you're gonna estimate first, and then after you estimate, then you multiply. And then the last thing you do is check. All right, so let's see. The first thing we're gonna do is estimate. Well, I know that 18, 18 times eight. I'm going to take 18 and round it up to 20, <coughs> which will make it easier for me to figure out uh, this answer. Okay, so basically, uh, I know that eight times two is 16 with one zero. So now when I get the answer to 18 times eight, I know that it's going to be somewhere around 160. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it. Eight times eight is 64. 64 has two digits. I'll put the ones digit here, that was the four, and I'll put the six up here in the tens column. Now I'll do one times eight, one times eight is eight, and then I'm going to add this number. So eight times six is 14. Now that I have the problem finished, now I check. Okay, this is a hundreds number, 144, and so is this. Okay, now if this number was like only 44, or if it was 7,000, I would know there was some kind of a problem. But since they're both hundreds digits, and the tens digit is just a couple away, that tells me that um, that's a way that I can check my answer. So you're going to do it here. You're gonna estimate your answer, Okay, like round to 70 and times by four, then you'll figure out this answer. Multiply in the ones column, then multiply in the tens column, and you'll have your answer. And then check to see if your actual answer is close to your estimate. And you'll go ahead and do the same with number three. Now number three, I notice that I have the ones column, the tens column, and the hundreds column, hundreds column, so I'll need to do all three spots. All right, let's look at the back. Malcolm ran the 440 yard dash and the 220 yard dash at a track meet. There are three feet in one yard. So how many total feet did Malcolm run? Estimate first, then check for reasonableness. All right, let's see. If there's three feet in one yard, then I need to multiply three feet times 440 and three feet by 220. Let's see, Malcolm ran the 440 yard dash and the 220 yard dash. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do 440 plus 220, so I know how many yards he ran in all. Okay, he ran 660 yards, and there are three feet in a yard, so now I'll need to multiply by three. But before I do, it's asking me to estimate. So, oh, I might round this up to a five, might make it easier to work with, or I might round this to 650, or even up to 700. Okay, I'm gonna estimate, then after I estimate, then I'm going to figure out what the answer is by multiplying. Okay, let's look at number five. Each student in Mrs. Henderson's science class brought in three books for the book donation. If there are 25 students in the class, how many total books did they collect? Everyone brought three books and there are five, 25 students altogether. That means I'm gonna do a multiplication problem because it's equal groups. Everyone brought the three books. 
So that will be 25 times 3. Number 6. Karen and Anthony are setting up rows for the piano recital. They set up 26 rows with 6 chairs in each row. How many total people will the rows seat? Okay. There's 24 rows and each row has 6 chairs in a row. So we multiply those together to find out how many uh, chairs there will be in all. Veronica brought her turtle out of its aquarium for 15 minutes every night for 7 days. How many total minutes did she bring her turtle out of its aquarium? We do this one just like we've done the other ones, just like we've done six and five. And then you'll do your test practice. Our restaurant has 36 tables. If each table can sit five people, how many people can be seated at the restaurant? This one is also like seven and number six. Thanks for watching this homework helper video. If you have questions, feel free to ask me tomorrow at school.